What up, players? It's War Boss Tay up in this mood. This is the test model for our Emperor's Children in this awesome pink that we are going to paint up today. Um, the color that is, we're not going to paint up this model because this is just a test model that I did uh, to kind of get a feel for how I want to tackle this this pink issue. And um, thank you so much for everybody who wrote comments and stuff. This guy is like 60%, 70% done. I haven't done any of the shading or highlighting for the icon or anything else really. I just wanted to get a good sense for the pink armor so that's why I didn't do really anything else. And yeah, so this guy probably won't be finished for a while because I'm moving on to this guy with the lightning claws. So stay tuned if you have a Dark Vengeance kit and you want to paint up your lightning claw Chaos Space Marine as an Emperor's Children Chaos Legionnaire, then follow this guide. Guide. First thing you do after gluing your model together and cleaning off all the mold lines is put the sand on the base and then spray it with primer. I use a gray primer because I feel like black is uh, hard for me to pick out all of the little tiny details and white I feel is too bright. It kind of makes me not want to look at it. So gray I feel is like the best of both worlds. Like that Miley Cyrus song. And um, we are going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to paint all of the pink areas with Bugman's Glow. I love this color. It is the perfect color. I don't know if I agree with it for skin, but for a base for pink Slaneshi armor, it is the best thing on the market. Now, when you're looking to do, um, when you're looking to do your pink armor, you'll notice that the model on like Lexicanum, the 40k Wikia, when you Google Emperor's Children, the model you'll see, the old pink, pink and black illustration, uh, Emperor's Children looks like a noise marine, and the trim for his shoulder pads are pink, and the insides are black, and um, one of his legs is mostly pink, the other is mostly black. So th the reason why I like this Bugman's Glow is it gives a nice fleshy pink color. It's not rainbow bright, um, you know, super gem pink. So if I was actually making a, an Emperor's Children's Force, I would not highlight much higher than this pink. I feel like this is a perfect, perfect uh, color. But, yeah, we are, just for the sake of being true to the Games Workshop pink Emperor's Children, we are going to paint paint all the way up to that bright neon pink that you see. Oh, as hard as it is for me, this whole project, Space Marines across the universe, and Chaos Space Marines is to get a feel for how to paint each of their armor um, colors. So we are going to shoulder on, we're going to carry on my wayward son. I love the detail on these Dark Vengeance kits. When you actually start, I mean, you'll notice them when you're whipping them, you know, out of the box and stuff. You'll see like, oh, look at all this detail, look at all these, um, how great the stuff is. But it's not until you actually start painting, putting the, the paintbrush to the model that you really realize how amazing it is. Some of these lines, like here, you can see the seam in his power fist. Some of them are going to need a little bit of green stuff work. Um, liquid green stuff, but we can we can do that no problem. That can easily be fixed. Let me just make sure I still have some liquid green stuff around. Yeah. Okay. So we can we can fix that up. I'm gonna continue painting. The thing about the Emperor's Children is pink and black is not the easiest of color combinations to paint together. If the pink was paired with something like gold or uh, blue, bright blue, which is more zinch, I feel, then that would be one thing, but actually I think I might do like bright blue accents. I think if we did like an equal parts pink, equal parts blue, they might look out like, they might come out looking like a lot of the zinch demons 
and um, we're not going for that look. But at the same time, just pink and black together is so, so hard to do effectively. So, um, let's do one of the best parts of painting for me is plotting out what is going to be what color. It's one of my favorite things, to, like just looking at the model and kind of seeing it in your head. You know, and it's something that I've gotten used to doing. I know a lot of people aren't comfortable doing it. They kind of just want to know. They watch these videos to know, okay, what color goes where? What color goes where? How should I paint it? Um, but for people who like to take a little bit more time and aren't afraid of making the mistakes and going back and redoing stuff later, because everything can be fixed and repainted over, then to those people, I say, very good, very good. Carry on, carry on. So we're going to paint the flat parts of most of the power armor, like the, um, like, I mean, the power fist inside the lightning claws. We're going to paint pink. We're going to make the trim black. A lot of these things, I don't know if, if it was when I was putting it together or if I was when I was storing it and stuff or if it was just came like that, but like how warped my my lightning claws on this guy are. Is that normal? Are yours did yours come out like that? Or is it just mine? See, on the, the right side, not so much. The left side look almost like wavy tentacle. Like I wonder if that's just me and it could just be my experience with them. So it's Friday when I'm filming this. And I'm really excited for the weekend. I think it's Veterans Day on Monday. So we get to have the day off. And then my students at the school where I teach, they actually have this Friday, this upcoming Friday off. So they get, we were getting like a, a three day school week for the school that I teach at and that's lucky for the kids, lucky for us because it gives us a day to, you know, prep everything for the changing of the of one block in the year to the next. Very exciting. Okay, for the um, for the armor, for the middle part of the like the chest piece, let's do pink here. Oh, I've got I've got a great idea. I have got the best idea. Let's do pink inside. I kind of like choosing this guy for the noise marine because you see this grill on the front of his chest. That is a recurring theme among noise marines. You'll see in the noise marine upgrade pack that um, that grill is either on like a face or like a part of the backpack or whatever. So that's pretty pretty cool. They've incorporated it. Um, I'm going to also paint this helmet. Just the middle part with this pink color, Bugman's Glow. We might do like some gold or other metallic color. I don't know if I want to do black for the trim here. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry if it's out of focus. Focus, Igor, please. I'm sorry, master. How's it going, Igor? Oh, it's going very well, sir. Good to hear. We are going to do one leg completely in pink, and let's make that leg the, I believe, on, OK, 
actually have Space Marine that I painted. It's the, yeah, it's the, the left leg. So that's the leg we're going to paint all in pink. The right leg we are going to make have uh, be black, maybe with some pink trim or something, but yeah, with all this detail on the leg armor, it's just really going to be fun to pick out. I love those kinds of challenges, you know, picking, picking things out, bringing the detail out. That's, to me, as a painter, that's the most, it's the most fun. That's why these new models really do it. Like the old Chaos Space Marine models compared to these guys, they're not as beefy, they're not as substantial, there's definitely not as much um, detail, unless you talk about like the old Chaos Space Marine. Uh, Terminator kit or the Terminator Lord, the Chaos Lord, that has a lot of that's packed with detail. But yeah, most of the old guys were just smooth, straight lines. The armor was very, very uninterrupted, sleek and straight. And yeah, there's also this little piece of back armor behind the head in the back part of the torso so right here we will stab some paint in there and don't worry if you get it perfect this is just the base coat and a lot of our missed spots are going to get painted over as we build the pinks up so don't worry miss anything. Oops. I also gotta paint the little butt flaps back here. I think I'm going to, it's supposed to be pink and black, but as these are chosen, I think I might add a little bit of gold. Some bright shiny gold. Slanesh is, you know, all about the the pretty pretty, so Add a little bit of gold in there, I think. This figure is great. It's got these two tentacle things that attach from like the back here, up, go all the way around the body to the front. Each of the chosen, packed with so much detail, is just fantastic. Okay, we're gonna use, I'm gonna use Chaos Black, but you might have the new Abaddon Black. I'm gonna be use Chaosing. I'm gonna be using Chaos Black until I run out of it. That's just how it's gonna go. Starting with the right leg. All the way to the front here. Yeah, you'll notice when we, when I show you the, the other guy that I painted, the armor was just really flat without much ornamentation. So, painting like the leg armor all black on the right side didn't really matter too much. But with these chosen models, we really want to bring out how awesome they look. So for sure we're going to use the black on the the inner armor in all the joints, the under armor and the joints and such. Uh, we're also going to paint, for now we're going to paint the majority of the backpack in black. There's some things like the, the vents that we're going to paint bolt gun, or not bolt gun, but lead belcher, which is a nice silver color. But for now, we're going to paint the whole thing in whatever black you want. Ok, 
Okay, and now we're gonna. I just I think this is this part is so boring because it's it's not an interesting color. Black is, you know, not as interesting as some of the other colors out there. So if you if you get bored at this part, you can just you know jump ahead. Yeah, so it's really easy if you want to find the uh, find the story of the emperor's children without reading through all the books. Although it is much better to sit down with a good book and and read through it and actually experience it. If you want the you know the Cliff Notes version, you can just go to uh, the Warhammer Wiki page or Lexicanum pages, and they should have everything you need to learn about the combat doctrine, the fighting style, the history, and uh, the character of each chapter, and Chaos Space Marine Legion. Emperor's Children was the third legion that was founded by the Emperor. Like I said in my other video, they're dedicated to perfecting the art of, of war and perfecting themselves in, in every, every way, shape, and form in order to great uh, greater kind of show off to everybody how much of a awesome species humans were since space marines are supposed to be the you know the epitome of perfection superhuman soldiers Fulgrim who was their primarch decided that they needed to be perfect in all things The hard part is going to be painting all of this detail work. That's what I do when I have a lot of paint on my brushes, I just draw it out, put a little dab and then draw it out. about this black might switch to pink Come to think of it, I haven't seen any anyone painting these models in this post heresy color scheme. We've seen a bunch of people out there painting these models as like your standard ward bearers or um, uh, world eaters post heresy 40k world eaters. So with the uh, you know with the red and brass, or if you're doing word bearers, then I've seen a lot of these figures painted with red and silver, but not many. Well, I've also seen a lot of Nurgle, which is cool. I haven't seen many Zinch or Slanesh though. Hopefully for those of you who are willing to try something a little bit different, this might help you out. might even, yeah, see this will even help out the fact that I don't have my liquid green stuff with me right now. Filling in this gap, we'll do like a little optical illusion, like the black is a, p 
part of the little gap there. Mind freak. See, it's magic the way. It's magic, guys. Hi, it's me, Chris Angel. I just magic the way that little gap and the power armor there. Did you like how I mind freaked your space marine? I'm Chris Angel. You're a hack! Oh, hello, Lewis. I'm Chris Angel. Get off my lawn! Honey, did you hear that? Chris Angel was just here. Yeah. Yeah, you just missed him. Next time. There's not gonna be a next time if I have anything to say about it. What's the matter, Lewis? You don't like Chris Angel? He's a hack. He called that. The fruvy fruvy mumbo jumbo magic. He doesn't know magic. He wouldn't know a magic spell if it came up and bit him in the well manicured hand of his. He's soft, slender, vulnerable fingers. Hey guys, it's me, Chris Angel. Did you see my car keys? Get off my lawn! I think I left my car keys here. Oh, here they are. See, they had the Chris Angel Mind Freak symbol on them. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, is that an Empress Children's Space Marine? Yes, it is Chris Angel. He looks fantastic. What is going on in this video? I'm so confused. So some parts were painting the trim in black, and some parts were painting the uh, the inside. Like if you, for example, you take a look at the shoulder pads. The inside of the shoulder pads, I've painted black. This nice smooth flat area for the trim of like the chest plate. I've painted black instead. So you've got converse, you know, you've got inverted, not converse, I love those shoes. You've got inverted colors going on all over the place. So we're going to do a little bit more before we finish. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our chaos black now and we're also going to start looking for these long tubes. Um, if you see any tubes, we're going to be painting those black now. So like the ones that are hooked into his his breathing plate or also the ones that are coming out of the sides going into his uh, into his backpack, powering up his backpack. We're going to be painting those black. They might end up being a different color later, but they're going to help us differentiate and show where the uh, where these tubes are later. I think they've got little scales, scaly scaly bits inside the wires that we can color, a different color, maybe metal, metallic. If you're doing an Iron Warriors, you could paint the inside metal. Um, yeah, when you get to the sides and the back, you can't really see what's going on over there. 
everything that's going on back there. So it's really up to you how much how much you're painting. Like um, the lightning claws here. There are tubes going into each lightning claw that hook into the shoulder pad. So for now we're going to paint both of those black. They might end up a different color, like a pale blue later. I found that a pale blue is a great accent color for these pink marines. If you look at this guys, like here, this little tube, tubes, tubes. Um, yeah. Study the books of Nagash all my life. I don't get a TV show. He's still talking about Chris Angel. I deserve my own TV show, Warboss. Yes, you do, Lewis. That Chris Angel can go mind freak himself. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm sorry. I'm just a grumpy old man, and I'm lonely. Woo! All right. So, I want to make... I am wanting to make a subtle illusion that this guy used to be this guy. And how are we going to do it? By painting his cloak. Some of you have asked me to tell you how I painted this guy's cloak. It kind of matches the old hot turquoise. So what I did was I used Sotec Green as a base and then I shaded around and then highlighted it up. So let's start by painting the cloth hanging from his loin, his loins, the loin cloth of our Chaos Base Marine in Sotec Green. That's pretty cool. We're tying together this model with um, a, another model that I painted. Consistency. Here we're gonna let that try. Now we're gonna start adding in the gold effects. So we use Balthazar Gold as a base. And, ah, uh, I don't know, because the Black Legion uses gold trim. So I might not do the trim of the armor in gold. Let's start by doing all of the other gold details first. So the grill on his chest. And we're also going to do the um, little claws jutting out of the bottom of his torso armor. He's got four, so one, two, three, and four. We're also going to do this skull here on his backpack. And, um, hmm. I was going to do these lightning claws, but now that I look at it, I think they might work better being in black. The uh, metallic parts, I mean. So you see they've got these arrows coming from the from the fingers. We're gonna try to get those as well as we can.
Oh, so today the uh, new Relic Contemptor patterns came out for the Death Guard and World Eaters Legion. The Death Guard, I didn't really see too much stuff that made it look really cool, so I might not be getting that, but the, the World Eaters Legion, their Contemptor, like the armor, it looks very World Eaters. It's got the, the leg armor on the knee, on the right knee, looks like it's um, a pair of jaws clamping down. And it just looks so, so cool. And the, the helmet of the head inside the, uh, the, the head of the Contemptor Dread, Dreadnought also looks really, really cool. Like um, the grill helmets used by the Mark II or Mark III armor patterns. The whole thing just looks really great and makes you want to get a World Eaters Dreadnought to go with your World Eaters army because everybody and their mother wants one now with all the new Mark kits, Legion kits, Angron out for for resin from Forge World and it just looks terrific. Hmm. Hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm painting the base of the knuckles now with the black. I might paint these uh, four knuckle parts on the lightning claws a different color, but for right now, they're gonna be pink. I might paint them gold. I might leave them. I might paint them black, but uh, pretty good. Lead voucher for the chain mail. This should be done in like a second or two because it's just you're just slapping this paint right on. There's no detail work. There it is on the back, on the front, you're just covering up the paint that you splattered on it by accident. And done. Yeah, these chainmail parts hanging from the waist of these chosen painted so fast and easy. Let's get a metallic silver paint, paint it on, done. We're moving a lot faster now. We're gonna take the lead belcher, put a little bit more on to our model through the grenades hanging from his waist. We are also going to paint in Lead Belcher the little ball uh, exhaust ports on his backpack. Let's just get all the Lead Belcher parts out of the way now, shall we? That's cool, it looks like claws gripping the sphere of these exhaust ports. Oh, somebody wrote a really great suggestion for doing noise marines with their sonic weapons, taking silencers, which you can get from bit stores on eBay or uh, through any of the, the bit stores online, and getting silencers, and instead of using the regular nozzle, once you scrape off the Inquisition seal, using the serpent heads for most of the chaos weapons that you find in the uh, tank sprue for rhinos and Stuff like that. I think that's a that's an amazing idea. Okay, I'm gonna use lead belcher now to paint up the um the inside of the pipes that are exposed. Yeah, that adds a nice little bit of bling to our model. And 